Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through simultaneous equation. Simultaneous equation means two equations with the same unknown and they are solved together. This is what makes simultaneous equation. This is not a simultaneous equation because they don't have the same unknown. This is S, this is A, Y, Y. So for an equation to be a simultaneous equation, they must have the same unknown. In this video, I'll be taking you through how to solve some uh, simultaneous equation using the elimination method. Now, substitution simply means to substitute. I'll share the link to that video below. Go through it so you have a good knowledge of substitution method. Now, elimination method is simply a method of eliminating. For example, if I'm giving s plus y is equals 8 and s minus y is equals 4, we have two unknowns, which are s and y. In elimination method, we start by eliminating one of the unknown to get the other. Then we substitute. So how do you solve simultaneous equation using elimination method? What you do is this. You take a look at the equation. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. You ask yourself, what, which of the unknowns should I eliminate? If you choose to eliminate y, luckily for you, in this equation, y this is one plus one y minus one y so they, they are the same the coefficient is the same if you simply add these two values plus y plus minus y it will become y minus y which is zero in that case you've eliminated y if you want to eliminate s in this case this is one s and this is one s if i subtract the equations s minus s will be zero in that case i've eliminated s and i'm now working with y so that's elimination method for you now i choose to eliminate s in this equation if i'm doing that i'll simply say equation one minus equation two this implies that i'm now having s minus s then plus y minus minus y because i am subtracting this is already y minus this is minus y minus y equals 8 minus 4 i will now be left with s minus s is 0 plus y minus minus y minus times minus will give you plus so this will give you plus 2y is equals 4. this is gone so we have 2y is equals 4. dividing both sides by 2 y is equals 2. now that we've gotten the value for y we've got y is equals 2. so what we simply do is Substitute the value of y into any of the equations. So I am choosing equation 1. Let me put y is equals 2 in equation 1. Doing that, equation 1 becomes s plus, instead of y, it is now 2. 2 is equals 8. s is equals 8 minus 2. s is equals 6. So the solution to this equation is s equals 6 and y is equals 2. That's the solution to that equation. <coughs> now, let's look at this other equation. This is 2y plus s is equals 5 and minus 2y plus s is equals 9. So we ask ourselves, which one do I want to eliminate do i want to eliminate s first or 
I wish to eliminate Y first. If I'm eliminating S, I'll simply say equation 1 minus equation 2. If I'm eliminating Y, I'll simply say equation 1 plus equation 2. There is no rule as to which to eliminate. It's your choice and the one that you think is easier. And as a rule of thumb, if you are given a simultaneous equation, if you have something like this, let's say 2y minus 3y plus 2s is equals 5 is equals 9. If you are given it in this pattern, you notice something. The coefficient of s are the same. So you can eliminate s. Or if you are given in this form, 2y, let's say this is 3y plus 2s plus 2s is equals 5 is equals 9. In this equation, the coefficient of s are the same. If I'm giving this, I'll just simply eliminate s. To eliminate s in this equation, I'll simply say equation 1 minus 2 or equation 2 minus 1. We don't care the value of every other thing. What we care about is that 2s minus 2s is equal to 0. In this simultaneous equation, to eliminate s, we simply add them because subtracting won't eliminate this. To add this, 2s plus minus 2s is the same thing as 2s minus 2s and it becomes 0. We don't need extra work. And if we have something like this, uh, 3y, 3y plus 2s minus 3s is equals 10, is equals 8, or whatever. In this equation, you see that it is obvious y is easier to eliminate, which you can rearrange to get 2s plus 3y is equals 10 minus 3s plus 3y is equals 8. So if I subtract these two guys, y will be gone. Then I will solve for s. Now, what about a situation where the coefficient of y and s are different? Look at something like this. If I say 3y plus 2s is equals 6, and I say, let's, uh, 3s plus 2y and I say 2s plus 3y is equals 4. If you are giving this type of simultaneous equation, you notice that the coefficient of s, they are not the same. This is 3s and this is 2s. This is 2y and this is 3y. So even if you subtract or you add, it won't give you 0. It won't eliminate. In this case, how do we eliminate? Before we answer the question of how do we eliminate, let us answer the question of which do we eliminate. So you now think, should I eliminate S or eliminate Y? If I want to eliminate Y in this simultaneous equation, knowing that this is equation 1 and this is equation 2, I will try to make these two coefficients the same. I will look for something that I will use to multiply this equation and multiply this equation so that at the end this guy and this guy becomes the same so to make these two the same i've gotten a trick i'll say equation one times two equation one times three and equation two times two so if i multiply the equation one by three and i multiply equation two by two you this is something i will now have nine s plus 3 times 2, 6y is equal to 6. Multiplying the equation 2 by 2, I will now have 4s plus 6y is equal to 8. Now, these are the same. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask using the comment box. Now, let's solve this equation direct. In this equation, I choose to eliminate y and the coefficients are the same. 2y, 2y, s, s. 
adding both equations, 2y minus 2y or 2y plus minus 2y. Here we already give me 0. Here I'll be have 2s. This is equals 14. So dividing both sides by 2, s will be equals 7. So I've gotten the value of s. Now, to get the value of y, I'll put s equals 7 in any of the equations that I like. I can do that in equation 1. To have 2y plus, instead of s, I now have 7. So plus 7 is equals 5. This will give me 2y is equals 5 minus 7. 2y is equals minus 2. Dividing both sides by 2, y is equals minus 1. Thank you for watching my video. I am Flash Isaac. Feel free to subscribe to this channel, Flash Learners, to get my updates on new videos. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Visit flashlearners.com slash videos or search Flash Learners on YouTube to see my amazing videos for all your topics. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. <laughs>